actress and model Cara Delevingne released a statement Wednesday detailing how powerful Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein harassed her about her sexuality and behaved inappropriately with her before casting her in a film. Dozens of women have come forward recently about sexual harassment and rape allegations against Weinstein, in the wake of damning reports in The New York Times and The New Yorker. Weinstein's been fired by the Weinstein Company Board, but has denied the allegations of non-consensual sex. In the statement, originally posted in three parts to Delavine's Instagram story, Levine says Weinstein asked her to kiss another woman in his hotel room. When she tried to leave, he blocked her at the door and attempted to kiss her on the lips. I was so hesitant about speaking out, I did and want to hurt his family. I felt guilty as if I did something wrong, she writes. She also describes meeting Weinstein when she was starting her film career, before the hotel room episode. He called to ask if she was sleeping with women with whom she had been seen out in public. Delavini has since spoken publicly about her sexuality, but did so of her own volition, not pressure from a producer who said she'd never make it as an actress if anyone thought she was interested in women. She then details meeting with him years later, that he bragged about having slept with famous actresses and asked her up to his room. She went because of pressure, from Weinstein and his assistant, who denied Delavine's request for her car, and found another woman in the room whom Weinstein allegedly asked her to kiss. Her full statement, as written on her Instagram When I first started to work as an actress, I was working on a film and I received a call from Harvey Weinstein asking if I had slept with any of the women I was seen out with in the media. It was a very odd and uncomfortable call, I answered none of his questions and hurried off the phone but before I hung up, he said to me that if I was gay or decided to be with a woman especially in public that I'd never get the role of a straight woman or make it as an actress in Hollywood. A year or two later, I went to a meeting with him in the lobby of a hotel with a director about an upcoming film. The director left the meeting and Harvey asked me to stay and chat with him. As soon as we were alone he began to brag about all the actresses he had slept with and how he had made their careers and spoke about other inappropriate things of a sexual nature. He then invited me to his room. I quickly declined and asked his assistant if my car was outside. She said it wasnt and wouldn't be for a bit and I should go to his room. At that moment I felt very powerless and scared but didnt want to act that way hoping that I was wrong about the situation. When I arrived, I was relieved to find another woman in his room and thought immediately I was safe. He asked us to kiss and she began some sort of advances upon his direction. I swiftly got up and asked him if he knew that I could sing. And I began to sing, I thought it would make the situation better, more professional, like an audition, I was so nervous. After singing I said again that I had to leave. He walked me to the door and stood in front of it and tried to kiss me on the lips. I stopped him and managed to get out of the room. I still got the part for the film and always thought that he gave it to me because of what happened. Since then I felt awful that I did the movie. I felt like I didnt deserve the part. I was so hesitant about speaking out, I didnt want to hurt his family. I felt guilty as if I did something wrong. I was also terrified that this sort of thing had happened to so many women I know but no one had said anything because of fear. I want women and girls to know that being harassed or abused or raped is never their fault and not talking about it will always cause more damage than speaking the truth. I am relieved to be able to share this, I actually feel better and I'm proud of the women who are brave enough to speak this isnt easy but there are strength in our numbers. As I said, this is only the beginning. In every industry and especially in Hollywood, men abuse their power using fear and get away with it. This must stop. The more we talk about it, the less power we give them. I urge you all to talk and to the people who defend these men, you are part of the problem. She echoes many of the other women and men who have come forward about sexual harassment in Hollywood and encourages victims to speak out, I am relieved to be able to share this, Delvin writes. I actually feel better and I'm proud of the women who are brave enough to speak, in every industry and especially in Hollywood, men abuse their power using fear and get away with it. This must stop.